It's good for you, the prosecutor. It's good for the Republic, because you're fighting all those terrorist types. I was so scared. I was so scared of having my computer seized. I was so scared of going to jail because of my computer being seized. I had confidential material from, from sources from my previous work on my laptop. And that is above all my priority, is to keep my sources safe. I was so scared of, of what was going to happen to Ada. Aaron told me that they'd offered him a deal. And he finally just said that he would take it if I told him to. And I, say, I came real close to saying, take it. He had these, he had developed like serious political aspirations in the intervening time between when, you know, that moment when he ended that entrepreneurial startup life and begun this new life that had come to this political activism. And he just didn't believe that he could continue in his life with a felony, you know. He said to me one day, we were walking by the White House, and he said to me, they don't let felons work there. And, you know, he really, he really wanted that to be his life. He hadn't killed anybody. He hadn't hurt anybody. He hadn't, like, stolen money. He hadn't done anything that seemed felony-worthy, right? And... There is this idea that, like, there's no reason that he should be labeled a felon and taken away his right to vote in many states for doing what he did. Like, that's just outrageous. Like, it makes sense for him to be, you know, maybe find a bunch of money or, you know, ask not to come back to MIT again. But, like, to be a felon? <laughs>